Welcome. In this lesson, I want to teach you about long calls. And so this is a very simple strategy uh, where, you're, where you're essentially just buying a call on the underlying position, on the underlying symbol. Your market assumption is bullish, so you hope the stock goes up. You want to do this when implied volatility is low because an expansion in implied volatility will help your position. Uh, optimal time frame is always 30 to 60 days to expiration. Profit target 25 to 50% of what you pay for that call, of the debit paid. Your downside risk is defined, so you know exactly what your risk is on the position uh, when you put it on. And of course, no upside risk as if the underlying symbol moves up, you're going to be in the profit. And, and, and that, that upside is not defined either, so there's unlimited upside potential theoretically. Now, keep in mind, uh, nothing is going to go up expon you know, uh, infinitely, so that's why we manage these trades at a percentage of debit paid because we want to bank that profit and, and then be done with the trade. And these have a, a probability of profit under 50%, which I'll show on the platform um, here in just a minute. So the trade setup is simple. You're simply going to buy one in the money call. I would, I would very strongly recommend staying away from buying out of the money calls. And the reason is, as I note down below, time decay or theta negatively impacts this position and even more so on out of the money calls. We want to buy in the money calls uh, kind of in that 80 to 90 delta range because that's going to minimize that theta decay component on, on the trade meaning it's gonna act more like buying stock uh, and it's not gonna have that time decay working against us as much, very, very minimal amount. So let's go to the platform and take a look. One thing I do wanna uh, mention too is, you know, think about in a stock index. So these are things that I don't typically buy, buy a straight long call in. And the reason is, is because if you, if you buy a call in SPY, for example, you want that uh, to go up. The problem is when the market goes up, almost always implied volatility goes down. So you, you so you've got to, it, it's got to make a pretty significant move up for you to profit because that implied volatility decay or in time decay is working against you. So I typically look if I'm going to buy a call in something, which I which I very rarely do to begin with. But if you're going to do it, I like to do it in a commodity. You know, for example, in uh, gold or oil or soybeans or wheat or something like that, because a lot of times, uh, not always, but more often than a stock, when you buy a call in those and, and that underlying symbol goes up, you also get an expansion in implied volatility. So both of those are working in your favor. So let's take a look at an example in GLD. So gold had a nice run up and now it's kind of pulled back. And, uh, and, and my assumption, and this is just purely my assumption, um, and that is that we could have, it's kind of had its pullback and it may reverse and kind of continue to the upside. And so this would be a candidate that I would look to potentially uh, buy a call in. You can do a vertical, you can do other strategies as well. Um, uh, that, that will work well um, on GLD, but this would be a candidate that you could also buy a call on. So let's go to the trade tab and <clears throat> go to that 45, 44 days to expiration. And then we want to, like I said, you want to buy a, a deep in the money call. So the call side is over here. So if you look at the delta here, you've got 80, 84, 87, 90. So somewhere in this range would be the one that I would buy. So let's just kind of go in the middle and let's say the 84 delta. Those are trading at 555, 565. So probably somewhere around $5.60 is where we would get filled on that. So if you just uh, right click on that, buy single, that's gonna populate down here. As you can see, like I said, right between 560, 565. So let's kick that down, see if we can get filled at mid price. And before we do that, let's analyze the trade. I've got a position on in GLD already, so I'll click off that just to show this one. So, so here's what you're here's what you're looking at. So you've got uh, 
here's where here's where price is and as you as you can see the difference between the green line which is your expiration or the teal line which is expiration and the and the purple line which is which is today there's there's not a whole lot of difference between those two at your entry right so meaning meaning the theta decay or the time decay is very minimal as far as working against you so if this price just stayed right here you know the <clears throat> Between now and expiration, theoretically, you could lose $55. Let me hover it over and, and you can see again, 50, $57, something like that. And, uh, and obviously the, the max you can lose is that debit you paid, 560, so $560, okay? Now, just to sh give you an idea of, of you know, sometimes it's, it's tempting to say, well, why would I pay 560 for this? When I could, when I could do one of these cheaper options and, and do something out of the money, like the 120, and only pay 56 cents or 57 cents. Well, let's let's look at that on the analyze tab. And if you if you change this from 110 to 120, and look at that out of the money call. Make sure you unlock your little box here. Now this is what the the risk profile graph will look like. Okay. Now look at the difference. If price stays where it is or trades all the way up to that 120 mark in GLD but nothing above that you're gonna lose the full $59 you're know, paying 59 cents for this so it's $59 so you, you it has to trade all the way up past 120 and a half dollars at expiration for you to make money now obviously if it does that quicker you can make money but the probabilities are working against you. So if we move this hash mark to the break even at expiration, you only have a 15.5% chance of making money on that trade if you buy an out of the money call, okay? And so that's the reason why you buy these in the money calls. The probabilities are much higher for you. And so if you move that hash mark back to where price is today, or, or actually to the break even point, to, so you've, now you've got a, over a 45% chance and you don't have that time decay, that theta decay working against you. So still under a 50, 50 probability uh, on this trade. But again, if you can get a quick move to the upside, bank a quick profit. And again, we're trying to manage this, take this off at 25 to 50% of the debit paid. So if the total risk or debit paid is 560, we're gonna take this off when we have a profit of somewhere around, uh, I mean, 50% would be would be 250. So all it has to do is move about a dollar and a half or a dollar and three quarters for us to bank that profit at 50%. And and even less if we if we bank at 25% of max profit, you know all it's got to do is move about a dollar in our favor. So that's how you that's how you trade a long call. Uh, I'm not going to fill that right now because I already have a long position on in GLD. But just like we teach in, in all the other fills, you simply right click, confirm and send, send that order and, and get it filled. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next lesson.